everyone and welcome back to another story time video. Today I am going to talk about trick or treating and dressing up as a kid. Now, by the way, before I get into this video, might I just say that I personally don't believe that there is an age limit for uh how old you can be or how old you should be before you stop dressing up for halloween because i think well partly because i think adults can get really creative with the halloween costumes that they make so and, and just costumes in general and i, I I always like to appreciate what people make. So, that's one reason why I say that you're never too old to dress up. I mean, heck, today, my, uh, there's a dress-up day at the college that I go to. Now, I am going to dress up as the Master Chief from Halo, and I don't know what, I, I, I know what a couple other people are going to dress up as, but nonetheless, I am excited to dress up for the first time uh, in six years. And before that, I hadn't dressed up in a long time. Since I was basically a kid. But, uh, yeah. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear me sipping on water. It's just that it helps my throat as I'm battling uh, an illness right now, as you can tell. So, I'm, I'm sorry if you can hear me drink water. But, as a kid, I loved going and trick-or-treating. I, my family and I did have a consistent place where we would trick-or-treat every year, and it was where my great-grandmother lived in her uh, little town that so because I always trick-or-treated in that little town that she lived in I appreciate that more Having that memory of seeing her after we would finish up trick-or-treating on Halloween. And she would always get really excited whenever to see the family and whenever my sister and I would get a lot of candy. Because I guess in her eyes... If we were happy, then she was pretty happy herself. But regardless, there was one year I remember dressing up as like a Grim Reaper type thing. Uh, knowing how my parents are, I really don't know how or why I was able to get away with that because I certainly was not making or buying my own Halloween costume nowadays like I can now. So uh, I I still don't know to this day but there was another year where I dressed up as a mummy Oh. 
And of course, toilet paper was used. But based on my luck, it was raining that year. Well, it started to rain. And that... That really sucked. It it did. Uh, by the way, there was a little road off the main road in this town that had a lot of Halloween festivities. So you didn't necessarily have to go door to door. And knock on doors and request a trick-or-treat, which is basically a treat, you know, candy, of course. Uh, no one ever tricks you. I never got tricked as a kid. I I can imagine there are several reasons why, now that I'm thinking about it. But nonetheless, you didn't have to go around door to door and do it that way if you didn't want to, but there was a year or two where we did do it that way. And I really enjoyed it. I know that, uh, I, I wish I had more memories of trick-or-treating. I mean, I, I have more memories of Christmas and Thanksgiving from my childhood. Because I was able to see family. And to me, that was important. Well, not so important, but it, I guess, in my little kid brain, it stuck out to me more as I got to see people that I hadn't really seen forever, and, well, not forever, but in a while, and that, that just meant more to me. Trick-or-treating in general <coughs> and getting candy was not a small thing for me as a kid, but it's even more so as an adult, but I would I would rather see family than eat candy. And by the way, I do not believe that you are too old to um, trick-or-treat either. It's just that I don't trick-or-treat anymore. That's just my decision. Um, but, yeah, I... Halloween's a good holiday, but... I definitely prefer Thanksgiving and Christmas over Halloween. Um, and I kind of hate that I don't have more in general when it comes to Halloween, but I don't. No, I don't. But uh, I distinctly remember... <laughs> The time when my mom warned my younger sister and I about uh, razor blades in the candy. I don't. I, I don't really understand why someone would do that to a kid. Or a person that just is trick-or-treating. Well, normally it's a kid, so... I don't know why you would do that to a kid. But, uh... 
Yeah, by the way, uh, my teacher mentioned that, what was it, uh, 35 million pounds, I believe he said, of candy corn gets made every year. And I quickly joked around and I said that, yeah, and 35 million uh, candy corn go uneaten every single year. Which, that's just a joke. I... I like candy corn. Candy corn's not bad at all. Uh... I don't really have a favorite Halloween candy. Uh... But typically, what gets handed out more, at least from what I remember, is are the chocolate candies, as opposed to the fruity candies. Now, your Reese's, your Snickers, your M&M's will get handed out a lot more frequently than your Skittles or your Starbursts or your Airheads. So that's what I mean by chocolate candy versus fruity candy, in case you don't know what I'm referring to. Now, one <coughs> candy that I really like, Milk Duds. Milk Duds. It gets stuck in your teeth, but... Milk duds are pretty freaking good. And I didn't really try them until I was, I think, 16. So as a kid, I missed out on eating milk duds, and that kind of disappoints me now. But I can't go back and live my life differently. So... Oh, well. I just have memories from my past. Good or bad. And thankfully, all the trick-or-treating memories I have are good. So. But yeah, tell me a memorable uh, time when you trick-or-treated or a thing that you really enjoyed to dress up as and just I, I don't know what to say else after that just comment down below I I want to hear your experiences with Halloween <sighs> And and see us, guys. I do believe that that will do it for this story time video and Flex story time video. I will see you all later. <sighs> Goodbye, guys. Thank you all for watching.